Hi guys, back with another video with my dad. Hi there. And today we are talking about the weekend. We're professionals at it, aren't we dad? Well, we do do it quite a lot every yeah. Sunday. Uh, it's, it's, it's great talking to, to you guys at home and uh, keep on subscribing and we'll keep on talking. Um, so let's start off yesterday, the, the dream ended for Lincoln. Um, now, yes, they did get thrashed by Arsenal, but that's kind of what you expect from, um, well, a team like Arsenal playing in the Well, I thought they played really well for 45 minutes and that they literally, you know, went a goal behind on the stroke of half-time. Yeah. Second half, it obviously, they tied. Their fitness levels aren't as, as good as uh, Lincoln and uh, Arsenal came away, uh, you know, quite convincingly winners. Um, Man City won earlier in the day, so that was two good teams already in the semi-finals. Uh, so a little bit of pressure for Spurs to to you know win. It's Millwall, and Spurs never make it easy in a must-win game, do they? Well, they haven't recently, and uh, it was a London derby. Millwall were bringing a lot of fans on and. Uh, Walking to the ground, uh, it was a bit of a eye opener yeah. for you, wasn't it? Yeah, nerve wracking day. Yeah, um, there was uh, there was helicopters in the air. Um, there was a lot of police. Um, it was a bit uh, smoke bombs were going off, mm. but um, game started badly. I mean, Harry Kane. Harry Kane. What were your initial thoughts uh, about uh, that injury? I mean, when he went down, I was thinking like because he was kind of holding the same place of his foot slash ankle. What, that he did against Sunderland? Yeah, so I was kind of thinking then it's probably around the same injury and he'll probably be up for the same amount of time. Yeah, I mean, the the, the hope I have is he, he did get up and he, he walked off. Like uh, last time, he had to bring a stretcher on. Yeah, but, you know, he went off and, and Son took his chance. Um, yeah. You know, great first goal, great second goal. We unfortunately can't really tell you about his third goal because we left the stadium because we were a bit worried about the trouble that could have happened in the high street after. So mm -hmm. we left on 85 and he scored on 90. Okay. But I think the highlight of the day was um, Vincent Janssen getting his first yeah. goal from open play. And uh, Spurs fans... Had a funny song, didn't they, when he scored? Which was? He scored when he was. Yes. <laughs> uh, bit ironic, but there you go. Um, that was quite nice to see him score. And then driving home, we tried to hear any further news on Harry Kane's injury. Yeah. There's rumours this evening he could be out for the season. Um, early days, but we hope that's not the case. There's two weeks international break after the next week, so... I think he'll definitely miss the Southampton game. Yeah. And then there's two weeks well, international. Well, definitely if he left the stadium with crutches. So there's only one Premier League game in the next three weeks. So hopefully he'll be back after that international break. If not, doesn't matter. We've got the man in the goals with Janssen and, and, mm. and Son. Um, I think Son's got 14 goals this season. Um, which is very good. And but he's not even a striker. No. But he, but he does play attacking when yeah. Kane's obviously not playing. And then tomorrow night, Chelsea Man United. Mm. Um, I think, personally, I would like Spurs to get Man United. I'll tell you why. If United beat, uh, get into the next round of Europa, they'll be playing on the Thursday night before the semi-final on the Saturday or Sunday. Mm. Um, so that could work in Spurs' favour. Yeah. Um, Especially if they're away. If we win it, there's no other team I would like to beat more in a final than, than the Arsenal. Arsenal. So I'm hoping United can no, can win tomorrow. Arsenal are probably now the weakest team in it. Always dangerous to say. Um, you know, Man City have their Man off City days, looking good. but they also have their off but, days. Yes. Um, United can, you know, with Ibra look very good, but I mean, I said to you coming home from the Spurs game. We're capable of beating anyone in the cup and just kind of anyone in general. So I think, like, whoever we get, um, sure. yes, who, <laughs> like, whoever we come up against, where we have a chance of beating. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. 
just having a little bit of fun with my son. Um, yeah, no, we can beat anyone and lose against anyone. Yeah. But that is supporting Spurs is all about. Yeah. We look forward to the game tomorrow, Chelsea are you. We look forward to the draw. Who do you think will get that one, Lou? Arsenal. <laughs> yeah. Arsenal semis, Chelsea final, oh. and it'll be Hugo Lewis lifting that cup in front of the faithful, in front of Chelsea fans on in May. So I think if we do beat City, I think we'll either get an Arsenal, either Arsenal or Chelsea in the final. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or Villa. <laughs> Do you like our new surroundings? We've moved studio. Yeah. We're now on. Uh, we've moved uh, from last week, and uh, we're preparing a special new studio, which we hope will be up and running next week. This is. Oh, next week. Yeah, it could be. It's good night for me. Good night for me. Good night. Good night.